Welcome to Digital Painting Studio. My name is Harley Fowler and I'm excited to share all of the techniques, tricks, and best practices that I've learned during my career as a digital artist. Digital art has become the industry standard for all forms of illustration and concept art. While traditional art media will always hold a place in every artist's heart, the enormous logistical, practical, and efficiency advantages of the digital medium make it essential for anyone who aspires to be a professional artist. To put it simply, once you go digital, you can make better art at a higher speed and never worry about making a mistake. So if you're new to digital art, I congratulate you on pulling the trigger and deciding to take the first step. If you're a more experienced digital artist or even a professional, you still might benefit from a quick refresher on the basics before you take on some of the unbelievably cool advanced courses that we offer. Over the next few lectures, we will learn some of the fundamentals of the wonderful and comparable Adobe Photoshop. But before we do that, let's go over some basic equipment requirements. I'm working on an iMac, but everything we'll do here translates perfectly to PC, so no worries there. I'm using a Wacom n 3 A pressure-sensitive tablet is essential for most of what we'll learn on this site. Although there's quite a variety of tablets available, this model has worked very well for me for years. So uh, I strongly recommend this one, but um, feel free to use whatever you're comfortable with. I'm using Photoshop CC. All of what we'll learn here, though, goes back to some pretty old versions of Photoshop. So don't worry if you have a less up-to-date version. Interfaces will be visible during all demonstrations, so feel free to pause or rewind if any software issues are unclear. Now that we have our equipment and software up and running, let's take a look at some basic Photoshop fundamentals.